Hello friends, Sandeep here. Welcome to the channel. One day free workshop of eTabs is what we are going to launch on 2nd August 2022. So let's get started. If you want to get the structural engineering license, if you want to get the first step of starting the structural engineer or how to get the HRC approval, high risk committee approval. If these three questions are yes, then please stay tuned with this particular video. So one day free workshop is what we are going to launch the e-construct is never done like this for all the aspiring structural engineers who really want to get uh, inside the structural engineering career so this is the workshop for you and what are the topics that we are going to cover it will be the starting exactly at around 9 9 30 in the morning okay nine o'clock is the reporting 9 30 the session will start and it will be there till the end of the day almost like 7 7 38 o'clock or something like that so what are the things that we are going to cover? First is what are the roles and responsibilities of a structural engineering? Most of you might be knowing, but we'll have a more clarity inside this. Second thing what we are going to do is what is basically, what are the different techniques of modeling? Actually, it is there in the ETAPS. How to do the importing, how to do the importing from the STAD Pro, how to basically get the 3D DXF importing, how to uh, you know import it from the AutoCAD DXF files. Next one is very important is the finite element method. Finite element, the people are doing the PhD in this topic. Thin shell, thick shell, membrane, plate, all the types of what is finite element meshing means, what should be the mesh size, when it is foundation, what would be the mesh size, when it is flat slab, what is the mesh size, what is the ideal mesh size of the, uh, um, what is the ideal mesh size of the uh, thin shell element. So all these things we are going to learn in this. Um, in plane and out of plane stiffness, membrane stiffness or shear stiffness, what basically are this where this kind of uh, uh, FEM technique is getting used? What is the difference between the yield line theory and the finite element method? So all these things we are going to learn. Next one is the beam releases and the slab releases. Many people know the beam releases, doesn't know the slab releases. So yes, when there is a fixed connection, moment connection, shear connection, or maybe it is just the simply supported connection uh, from the beam to the uh, other beams or beam to the columns, beam to the shear walls, out of plane, uh, you know, the bending, what is that? And where as a structural engineer, if you want to do the releases, what to do? And after doing the releases, when it comes to uh, detailing, what exactly you are going to deal with this? So the applications of that also we are going to see next one is the importance of the support connections or the support conditions so fixed hinge roller or um, um, if it is a spring connection or the spring supports so pre uh, spring supports also we are having the point springs line springs area springs where exactly the applications of that are there in the structural engineering a, um, area is what we are going to see Next one is how to apply the gravity loads. So basically the superimposed dead load and lie load. So there is a line load, area load, a point load. What should be the factors? Where? What basically the code IS875 is saying about it? Uh, and what are the load combinations and all actually we are going to study that. Next one is the how to read the architectural plan. That's very important basically because there is a basement, there is a podium floor, there is a transfer girder, there are floating columns. Where are you going to plan the columns where are going to plan the shear walls and all actually so we'll take certain examples and we'll try to teach you that where exactly the column orientations and all actually you need to study after working on the architectural plan the structural framing plan is it really uh, you know better to change the orientation of the column which is the main grid which is the secondary grid and uh, where is the center of point where uh, we call it as the diaphragm center which is geometric center plus um, where is the center of mass center of stiffness the difference between that the uh, torsion accidental torsion all these things we are going to uh, you know see that next one is like how to import the files from the dxf to the from the cad to the etabs what are basically the protocols are there when one person is talking to another person you know that you need to maintain some kind of discipline so like that when one uh, when one software is talking to another like autocad is talking to the etabs what are the things that you need to cover uh, so what are the rules and the principles are there so that's that's what we are going to see so 
वन फुल डे फ्री वर्कशॉप देर इज नो प्राइजिंग एंड ऑल एक्चुअली ओवर थीयर एंड यू जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू कम हियर इन द बैंगलोर इट्स ऑफलाइन वर्कशॉप विच वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट इट्स नॉट अ ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन वुड बी देयर ओनली फॉर द पीपल हु आर हु आर टेकिंग द एडमिशन फॉर द मास्टर स्टडी कोर्स सो दैट वन वी वी आर गोइंग टू गिव इट टू दैम इट इज वन फुल डे offline workshop actually so you just need to pack your bags and come to the bangalore which is just uh, you, you have to just give the uh, proof that you are traveling that's all okay um, because so many people they are registering their names and they are not turning up here so we don't want to to uh, uh, miss that opportunity uh, for the people who are genuinely want to to attend right so there are very limited seats because it's off uh, because it's offline make sure that you come here early in the morning while coming you make sure that you are early coming here exactly 9 o'clock here in the office you can just google uh, our office address and all so from the airport how much time it takes and all so no need basically to have the uh, stay here if you are staying here it's well and fine but if you don't want to stay and if you want to fly back it's fine with us just one request that you do not book the ticket um, maybe 7 8 o'clock in the evening you just need to book it a little late maybe 11 12 o'clock in the night so that you can go back to the airport because it's little far off from the airport to the our office all right so these are certain things which we wanted to tell you i'm sure that you will enjoy quite a lot of it's a very big feast for the structural engineers how to get the hrc approvals how to get basically the first step to start the career in actually as a structural engineer as well as how to get the structural engineering license okay what are the things that, i mean the question here is basically if you really want to become a pursue the career basically as a structural engineer this would be really big feast okay this can be a very good fundamental first step okay because uh, structural engineering is basically the sign that if something goes wrong i'm responsible okay so how to take that kind of responsibility and uh, you know you work on that actually right so see you soon thank you very much bye bye